We teach so much. We take so much time on removing and rebuilding the bad part of black history. The slavery, the riots, the racism, the pain, the unwelcome memories, the assassination, the lynchings, and the hanging. When I was in school, grade school, and went to high school, there was really no positive talk thing about black history. Mm, yes, over and over, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, Harry Tubman, this hanging and that hanging, this killing their children, but nothing to make people of color be proud of the overcoming of slavery. All right, all right. You right. Yes, I'm wrong. Mr. Wilson did teach us to do something. All right. Reverend Bastion is talking talk to us about the libraries that are dying off. But definitely nothing was taught or movies that were shown besides Mississippi burning and glory and movies just showing the destruction of blacks. Nobody had never talked about the good whites that have got. Yeah. It was always the negativity, and I think that's why we are not confident about our black history. So, lots of people turn around and worry about these false prophets and teaching. I would say, this is the same year after year and after year that I believe that, no, I'm not saying that the teachers lie, but if you're not teaching the truth, then what are you teaching? All right, all right. How many of y'all can remember being in some type of room with no time to play games? Whether it be b-ball, basketball, kickball, maybe a gifted guard, a regular, a pastor, and yes, a girl in the military. There's a guy that we are looking for that's beyond just being a parents and guy. A lot of us has that one person that can make a difference. Yeah, I know. That one person can be a coach, a teacher, a drill sergeant. They can make all the difference in your trust. Yeah, that's it. What are you saying? Have you ever seen military men in the hands? Uh, yeah. They read. Right. They are ready for that command of that one person. Right. I take it down to you. They say sheep's already come to their own shepherd. Let me admit to ourselves, though, that we've all, like the people that Jeremiah wrote to, has followed the wrong leader sometimes. We have all took the wrong direction. Which I can honestly say that if you look at a, a comparison, if you look at the first slave, the same thing happened. Because a lot of us don't know and did not study that it was our owner who sold. I will own in the first. Oh, well, I will trade off. But I love when I got into the story, I like the, the believer's commentary and, and how it stated to all encouraged by leaders who stood up us to move ahead. Someone who believes we can do the task he has given and who will always be with us along the way. It says, God is in heaven and with him and always had our best interest in mind. Yes, yes. He made us in such a beautiful work in us. He made us in the image of the Holy Trinity. Yes. Genesis 1, 26 through 31. God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Yes, sir. And let, let them have the middle of the air, the fish, the seas, uh, the cattle, the earth, the creepy part of it. God had a mission and a blessing for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The commentary also said that as long as we stay focused on God, that we stay true to God, that even though the suffering and pain, the trials and tribulations, there will still be a great reward. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Shut it up. But, but sometimes we get impatient. That's right. Sometimes we want that microwave removal. Yes, sir. Well, sometimes we know that when you say, I want to learn, I want it now. So we don't take time like we used to. I'm going to give you three points and, and I'm going to take my seat. We look at Jeremiah 29 11. I'm going to call that the faith. 
Then I can make them sinners. I don't want to for the first one, but I can hear his son. I'll be here every, every Sunday. If you don't give me just every word, say it every Sunday. Yeah. I don't care if you walk in or walk out. Yeah. Remind me of what black history is supposed to do for me. Yeah. Right? So I don't break it down the best way I can have. Right? Lift every voice and say, yes, yes. Psalms 984, make a joyful noise unto the Lord.
for the same as it did in the room with God, we share the words of to you again. We talk about our tithes and our offering. Amen. Always take care of what's yours. Amen. God is here saying to you, we could have for the money, but he just wants 10. Yes. Just 10%. Amen. Do we have any announcements? I have one. So we thank God for this precious hour of praise and song. Amen. This is also quiet and music team. Yes. Yes. And we want to thank God for using us to money. Yes. 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 Members for praying for Sister Carter and the family and the loss of our brother recently. A month of church, you know, we were extremely proud of Minister Wilson, who was able to represent the church at the Amen. service and participate. And give words of encouragement, to give scripture, and to give prayer. We thank you once again, Minister Wilson. Amen. God is good in all of them, in spite of the wars, in spite of the rumors of wars. In spite of those who want to be demagogues, in spite of those who seem to continue to dislike people because of the color of their skin, their creed, or their religion, God is still in the blessing business. Yes, yes. Never forget, He says, Ha, ah, yes, He does. He yes. yes. And He comes. Yes. He will now leave yes. us. No. No. Yes. Yes. God bless you all. Next week, We'll be able to be back in person service here this week. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for his manifold blessing. Yes, yes. yes. And it's been mentioned in our sermon today and through Minister Wilson. Uh, you got to do something. Yeah. Yeah. So we will do something next Sunday. We we'll remind the church, the world, and our people that God is still good all the time. Yes. All the time. All the time, God is good. Yes. As the money comes to this time, we ask for him with our doxology to give our benediction. May God be with you. May God keep you. Yes. Amen. Yes.
Baptist Church, Sunday morning service. Our pastors, the Reverend Dr. Bishop E. Carter III. We welcome you this time. The Lord is in his holy temple. Thank you, Father, for your encouragement. Thank you. Thank you. 
May this worship experience, Father, help us to transcend what we do not understand. Make it clear, Lord, that you stand in control. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. In the end, Father, all things will be made right. So, Father, bless us this day. Two weeks ago, issued the challenge. The challenge to do what? Do something. To do something. So today, we are going to talk about some the do something people. We African Americans come from a long list of do something people. Mm. I have compiled a short list of African Americans that answer the challenge that Reverend Wilson issued two weeks ago. The first person I want to bring to your attention is Christmas Addicts. Christmas mm. Addicts did something. Mm. Yeah. He was the first to die for this country. Yes, he was. Yeah. A country that didn't love him. Well, when the first revolutionary fighters in Boston Mass stood up to the British, Christmas Addicts was the first to die mm. for this country. Mm. Yeah. And this was the beginning of the American yeah. Revolution. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little Ruby Bridges, yeah. she did something. Yeah. Yeah. At the age of six, yeah. Ruby Bridges advanced the cause of civil rights in November of 1960, when she became the first African American student to integrate an elementary school in the South, mm -hmm. where she attended William France Elementary School in New Orleans, Louisiana. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thurgood Marshall, mm -hmm. yeah. lawyer, mm -hmm. yeah. who did something. Uh -huh. 
Right. He argued Brown versus Board of Education at the Supreme Court in 1954, where he won the landmark decision which declared racial segregation in public schools as unconstitutional. In 1967, he became a justice, the first black justice on the Supreme Court. Yeah. Bessie Coleman, mm -hmm. one of my favorites, uh -huh. was the first African-American woman to hold a pilot's license. Mm -hmm. yeah. As an African-American woman in the 20s, she was not allowed to fly an airplane. Wow. But she did something. Mm -hmm. And she went to Europe and received her pilot's license. She was known as Queen Bess. Mm -hmm. Queen Bess said to tell our children that nobody mm -hmm. owns a sky. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Billie Holiday, singer, singer. Yeah. AKA Lady Di. Lady Di. She did something. Yes. When soldiers were found hung after returning from the war, mm -hmm. she produced a song in 1939 called Strange Fruit. Fruit. Yeah. Yeah. To bring attention to the many lynchings of African Americans. Jackie Robinson, Amen. African American professional baseball player, did something. He broke the color barrier for baseball in 1947. He had to endure racial threats, racial segregation, racial taunts, and isolation, just to name a few. He was also a commissioned lieutenant assigned to the 761st Black Panther Tank Battalion. Those of the, of the 761st Tank Battalion, these brothers did something too. <laughs> yeah. You may remember me talking about them on another Black History occasion. The 761st Tank Battalion was made up of Do Something Brothers. Mm. Uh -huh. These men, also called Liberators, yeah. smashed through dozens of German cities and towns. Part of their history was that they liberated the German Jews at Gerstmann concentration camp. Some Do Something Brothers. Big Bad Jack Johnson, mm. African American heavyweight fighter. Mr. Johnson was called the Galveston Giant. He was the undisputed black heavyweight champion. <laughs> At the time, boxing was also segregated. Mr. Johnson did not see him for being the black champ, so he did something and convinced the white heavyweight champ to fight. Mr. Johnson proceeded to humiliate his opponent and unify the heavyweight title in 1908. Next is the Tuskegee Airmen. Yes. Most know the story. Yes, sir. The Tuskegee Airmen were a group of African American pilots and airmen who fought in World War II. They formed the 332nd uh, Expeditionary Operations Group. They were most noted for providing air support to the bombers that bombed Germany. The 332nd were cited for the highest rate of planes to return from a bombing mission under their protection. Yes. Next, Rosa Parks did something when she refused to give up her seat on that Montgomery bus on December 1st, 1955. Her action led to the famous Montgomery bus boycott, which went on for over a year. This action led to desegregation of the bus system in Montgomery, Alabama. Thank you, Mrs. Parks. Next, the students from North Carolina A&T did something, Reverend Wilson. <laughs> they participated in the Greensboro sit-in, which was a civil rights protest that started in 1960 mm. at a segregated Woolworths lunch counter. Mm. Yes. Their effort was instrumental in integrating dining facilities across the South. So you and I can eat anywhere that we choose to. That's all right. Thanks, Uncle Joe. Mm. Uncle Joe. Carol Mosley Braun, mm -hmm. the first black female senator from the state of Illinois. Mm. She would pave the way for another black senator from Illinois. That's right. Yes. In 1993, Ms. Mosley Braun was sworn into office. During her single term in office, she advocated for civil rights issues, for legislation on crime, education, and families. Whitney Young, mm -hmm. one of Kentucky's own, mm -hmm. from Shelbyville, was a civil rights leader who spearheaded the drive for equal opportunities for blacks and in U.S. industry and government. He was the head of the National Urban League for 10 years, 1961 through 1971. He did something so we could have the opportunity to work at places like Toyota, IBM, and other governmental jobs. Lastly, Ralph J. Bunch in 1950 
Ralph J. Bunch became the first African American to win the Nobel Peace Prize. A man who criticized both the American social system and the established Negro organizations. His message was clear. Mm -hmm. Racial prejudice is an unreasonable phenomenon without science basic or biological. Uh, so sorry. It's unreasonable phenomenal within scientific without scientific basis in biology or anthropology. Still also relevant today more than ever. So in closing, it's always my pleasure to share with you and to remind you how blessed we are. I thank Reverend Carter for giving me the opportunity. I want, I want to thank the crowd. Not only do y'all sound good, but y'all look good. Yeah. <laughs> I want to encourage all of you to share our history. We come from an oral people. Please take the opportunity at your dinner tables, your breakfast tables, your anytime tables mm. to share the accomplishments of our ancestors with our children. Mm -hmm. We must tell our children about the rich history that we have. We must tell them about the great contributions that we have made to mankind. They are not taught about the many contributions that people like them have achieved. Right now, there's a movement to make it illegal to teach about certain African American tragedies in some of our states. That's right. We must tell our children that they can achieve. We must teach our children that, that our ancestors took nothing and gave us all that we have today. Mm. We must remind them that when the going gets tough, we have a God that said he'll never leave us or forsake us. Again, I encourage you to use your phone, your computer, your tablet, whatever it takes to look up black history. There's so much more history that I could talk about. I've only shared with you the tip of the iceberg. Finally, tell our children that they are blessed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Then before I last, I want to spend a special prayer out to my mom, my wife's grandmother, who's on the battlefield right now. Yeah. She's dealing with some health issues, but I know God, if it is in thy will, thy will will be done yes, always. Yes. And she would allow the Holy Spirit to come in here and bless us and keep us and take care of us, Lord, for us these small blessings. I ask in your daughter's son, Jesus' name I do pray. If it is in thy will, we should all say amen. 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 Now, I promise you, I will not be long today. But there is something God has given me that's on my heart. I'll be honest with you. I've never been a black history person. I'll be honest with you about that. It was never given to me in such a way that I wanted to indulge in. All right. I'm just keeping it real. Black history was always... Just something that they would pass on. I believe at one time it was an elective. Mm -hmm. So this title, I want to give this, and I'm not trying to step on no toes, but Jesus didn't come to fix everything. All right. Huh? I know how you're looking at me, but, but he didn't come to fix everything. He, All right. he came to make sure we have a right to the tree of life. Yes, yes. He came down and died for our sins, but we still want to blame him for all the killing, all the disgrace, Mercy. all the pain. Mercy. He didn't fix everything. But the subtopic is the good, the bad, and yes, the good about black history. All right. Now, everyone has your best interest of heart. Yes. Pastor Carter has said that many a times. Much like this letter about Jeremiah writing to the exile, the surviving elders, priests, and the people that Nebuchadnezzar has carried out of Jerusalem into Babylon. That's right. Now, as I was saying, I wasn't a big black history buff because nothing in my schools taught me anything that wanted me to engage in black history. All right. Come on. Now, maybe that's because I'm in Kentucky and not the southern states. Well, the schools just didn't want it to be taught. You know, I've always loved music. Music is my thing, yet I remember being in music class in elementary and feeling weird when the teacher made us sing, oh, I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixie Land. We teach so much we take so much time on renewing and redeveloping the bad part of black history. The slavery, the riots, the racism, the pain, the unwelcome memories, the assassination, the lynchings, and the hanging. When I was in school, grade school, I went to high school, there was really no positive talk thing about black history. Mm, yes, over and over, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, Harry Tubman, this hanging and that hanging, this killing, that killing, but nothing to make people of color be proud of the overcoming of slavery. All right, all right. You right. Yes, that Lord. Mr. Wilson did teach us to do something. All right. Reverend Bastion was talking talk to us about the library that are dying off. But definitely nothing was taught or movies that were shown besides Mississippi burning and glory and movies just showing the destruction of blacks. No doubt they never talked about the good whites that have done. Yes. It was always the negativity, and I think that's why we not confident yes. about our black history. So like the people turn around and worry about these false prophets and teaching, I would say this is the same year after year and after year left me that, no, I'm not saying that the teachers lie, but if you're not teaching the truth, then what are you teaching? All right, all right. How many of y'all people remember being some type of dude with no time playing games? Whether it be b-ball, basketball, kickball, maybe a guilty guard director, a pastor, and yes, the group in the military. There are guys that we are looking for that's beyond just being a 
our parents and God. A lot of us has that one person that can make a difference. Yeah, that's yeah. That one person can be a coach, a teacher, a drill sergeant. That can make all the difference in your trust. Yes, yes. What are you saying? Have you ever seen military men in the hands? Huh? They ready. Right. They are ready for that command of that one person. That's right. I take it down to you. They say sheep only come to their own shepherd. Let me admit to ourselves, though, that we've all, like the people that Jeremiah wrote to, has followed the wrong leader sometimes. We have all took the wrong direction. Which I can honestly say that if you look at a, a comparison, if you look at the first slave, the same thing happened. Because a lot of us don't know and did not study that it was our owner who sold our own in the first. Or we to trade off. But I love when I got into the story, I like the, the believer's commentary and, and how it stated to all encouraged by leaders who stirred up us to move ahead. So when we believe we can do the task he has given and we will always be with us along the way. It says God in his gift of wisdom has always had our best interest in mind. Yes, yes. He created us in such a beautiful world of us. He made us in the image of the Holy Trinity. Yes. Genesis 1, 26 through 31. God said, let us be man in our image, after our likeness. Yes, sir. And let, let them have the of the air, the fish, the seas, the, the cattle, the earth, the creeping quality. God had a mission and a blessing for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The commentary also said that as long as we stay focused on God, that we stay true to God, that even though the suffering and pain, the trials and tribulations, there will still be a great the rule. Yes, sir. Okay, set it up. But, but sometimes we get impatient. That's right. Sometimes we want that microwaveable removal. Yes, sir. Well, sometimes we want it. What do you say? I want mine and I want it now. So we don't take time like we used to. I'm going to give you three points and, and I'm going to take my seat. We look at Jeremiah 29 and 11. I'm going to call that the faith test. For I know the thoughts I have thought towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now I know sometimes it's hard to understand when I know when the unseen. How am I supposed to believe in what a person is telling them? It's to be truthful. But this fools me to Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. God is telling the people what he has, what he has in store for them, but they still have to believe in their heart and believe in his true word. I remember when we had our hundred game. Yes. And and Pastor Scott was talking about the, the steam and the biscuit on Saturday. Five. Huh? Never thought about that way. Gonna soak up in it, taste it, and say we know what is yet to come. Alright. We're gonna look at verse 12. Verse 12 is very interesting because I call it the prayer test. Because sometimes when we pray, we don't listen. We're not all the time we pray and we don't listen. We want to give God our list, but not listen to Him. Verse we want to say what we gotta say, seal it, seal it, amen, and we're wrong. But we never just take time to listen. Mm. Then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. When the expected end is about to be given, when God intends and is about to bestow a mercy, he gives his people a spirit of prayer to ask for it. And even the promise of it is a considerable argument to encourage and engage more to pray for it. What am I saying? 
Even when times get tough and hard for you, you still got to have that faith and belief in your heart. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you have that faith and that determination, yes. you will know two things. That God's word is true and he is always an on-time God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know sometimes you feel that you're walking alone. I know sometimes you have those bills that seem like a check doesn't add up. But if you have faith, all right. Over a few things, yeah. He'll make it good over many well, yeah. and, and those bills seem like they ain't nothing no more. Uh -huh. There's no will. Now, my third point is going to be the strength test. Because in order to have faith, in order to have the prayer, you got to have some type of strength within you. Yes, not me. I know it's hard to understand and explain, but there is something about being a strong soldier for the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And he shall see me and find me when he search for me without no harm. The promise of God heard the page of the scripture like crystal droplets of sparkling rain. That's what Google said. <laughs> uh, I can put those kind of words together. It's ain't fancy for me, but... Amen. Smart and light into a dry, dusty desert and a scattering hole into the hearts of God's people. The promises of God tumble and glimmer through the word of God whew, of twinkling stars, peeking through the glowing skies of doubt and sorrow, refreshing the soul, giving hope to the man of heart and providing encouragement to the weary. Yeah. Strength. Though the context of this verse is in the Babylonian captive, and their given restoration and redemption, mm -hmm. this present verse states an eternal principle of time is promised. All right. That the Lord is ever near mm -hmm. to all who seek him. Mm -hmm. And those that seek him mm -hmm. for a right are certain to find him. And he prays, 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 and he prays,
What you think is going to happen in heaven when the angels start vibrating me as a whore? Mm. Then there's a lot of ready to see. Mm. I believe this is John Pace said. This is what we got to do. Yeah. We turn our slow mode. We turn our chains. We got to do the same. God's light. We got to work to shake the foundation. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you talking about? Lift every voice. Yeah. 
Now, I'm getting to what the meat. See, I didn't get no appetizers, okay? But we get the meat. Uh, so see, we're going to go through the first verse, because for some reason, that's all that people Ooh. Huh? Ooh. Huh? Ooh. 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 Today can take comfort in knowing there is not a promise to immediately rescue us from hardship suffering, but to rather promise that God has a plan for our lives regarding our current situation. Regardless. Yes. He can work through, yes. work through it to prosper us and give us hope. Yes. Okay, now let me see here. Let me see if I can put this in a mad matter. You cannot take your past and live. Off your pants. Can I say that? Or oh, how about you take your pants, add it to your present, and apply it to your future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's an ABC one, two, three, and one. Take your pants, add it to your present, and apply it to your future. Yes, sir. Now, 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 see the song for the whole. Yeah, because yeah. the, the present yeah. is lost. Yes. Yes, sir. From the hand of the wicked. Well, from the wrath of those, wrath of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, my sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. He said, he's here. He said, I knew you while he was yet born. He came
able to get it. She won't be able to get it. Yeah. So the same yeah. answer that you knew you were going to show up. You want to do you again. We're talking about our times and our offering. Amen. Always take care of what's yours. Amen. Amen. God was saying to you, we couldn't have to remind you. But he just wants 10. Yes. Just 10%. Amen. Do we have any announcements? I have one. this precious hour of praise and song. Amen. 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 This awesome choir and music team. Yes. Yes. And we're going to find God for using us to money. Yes. 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 And the family and the loss of our brother recently. A month of church, you know, we were extremely proud of Minister Wilson, who was able to represent the church at the Amen. service and participate. Amen. Give words of encouragement, to give scripture, and to give prayer. We thank you once again, Minister Wilson. Amen. God is good in all of them, in spite of the wars, in spite of the rumors of wars. In spite of those who want to be demagogues, in spite of those who seem to continue to dislike people because of the color of their skin, right. their creed, and their religion, God is still in the blessing business. Yes, yes. Yes. Never forget, He says, Ha, ah, yes, He does. He will slow. Yes. And He comes. Yes. He will never leave us nor no. forsake us. God bless you all. Next week, We'll be able to be back in personal service here this week. Amen. Thank you, God, for his manifold blessing. Yes, yes. And as been mentioned in our sermon today, and to Minister Wilson, uh, you got to do something. Yeah. Yeah. So we will do something next Sunday. We'll remind the church, the world, and our people that God is still good all the time. Yeah. All the time. All the time, God is good. Yes. As Brother well, Money comes this time, we ask for him with our doxology to give our benediction. May God be with you. May God keep you. Yes. Yes.